Hi guys. So it is three o'clock, day five. I haven't filmed at all today. When I woke up this morning, I made breakfast and I went to work. And that's really all I did. Um, but that's really all I did. I did do a lot of listening to my audiobook. Um, I've got three and a half hours left. It's due in four days, but the reading rush ends before that, so I think I'm definitely going to get that done. Um, so yes, I, right now, <laughs> I'm going to do the video challenge, the Instagram challenge, help my mom do some cleaning of the house because I have family coming over, and then I will read, and I will read. Don't you worry. I will read I am number four. I'll get that done. <laughs> And then once I do, once I finish the audiobook and I'm number four, I will have all the challenges completed. I just need to watch a movie. Regarding that topic, sorry, I'm just so shaky. Oh, got so much. But yeah, regarding the topic of watching the movie adaptation, I was very dumb. And so there are a bunch of books that I am reading that have movie adaptations. However, I just realized. I have no access to any of the movies. So, well, kind of, because here's the thing. So I read the Twisted Tale version of Sleeping Beauty, right? Once Upon a Dream. So I don't have Sleeping Beauty movie, but I do have Maleficent, which I think is more similar to the ideas and the twists in the story, so I might count that one. Plus I haven't seen Maleficent in forever, so I mean, it's a good rewatch. Um, I'm reading I Am Number 4, which was made into what I hear is a horrible movie, so I'm not super inclined to watch it, and I also have no way to watch it. It's not on Netflix, Hulu, I would have to buy it off of Amazon Prime, and I'm just not about that. <laughs> um, and then I also have Peter Pan, and that's what I was originally planning on, and then I realized I have no way of watching Peter Pan. Again, I have the movie Hook, which isn't... A, which isn't the movie version of Peter Pan because it's Peter Pan when he's grown up into this older man. So I don't think it really counts, but I'm, I'm hoping Maleficent counts for sure. And then the only other possibility I have is that I finished reading Psych's Guide to Crime Fighting for the Totally Unqualified. Psych has made a movie, Psych the Movie. So it's not just a TV show, there's a movie, and it's a great movie. I don't know if that counts because they don't follow the same plot line, but the book doesn't have a plot, so I'm not 100% sure. So I think I'm just going to watch Maleficent and call it good. But yeah, I don't have a lot of time, so I am going to go film that uh, YouTube video. Spoilers for what I'm going to do for the Day 5 challenge. Um, so it's do something artsy and creative to represent like a book or a book cover or something. Uh, as I mentioned before in the first challenge when we had to draw, I'm not artsy at all. So what I've chosen to do is I'm going to dance. As I've also mentioned before while reading the Twisted Tales Once Upon a Dream book, I am a trained dancer, but it's been a very long time since I have danced. So I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to do my best and I hope you guys enjoy it, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to go downstairs and choreograph it and yeah, we'll see how it turns out. out of breath hi guys so yeah that was about a minute long dance that I created inspired by the book uh, the children of blood and bone by Tomi Adoyemi 
uh, I chose that book because it's probably my favorite book of um, my TBR for the readathon, and I took the song Run Boy Run by Woodkid, and I took the instrumental version, and I just kind of choreographed like a 45 second dance. Um, it's a really great book, so it follows the story of this girl and her brother, um, and they, so she's trained in the art of the staff, which is what my pole was, it was my staff, learning how to fight with it and stuff. Um, and they find another girl who has this scroll, and that scroll is going to bring magic back into the world. So that's what the roll that piece of paper was, is that was the scroll that everyone was so happy and excited about because it's going to bring magic back. But then at the end of it, they still had to fight for it because not everybody wants magic to come back. Um, so that's basically the premise of the book and my dance, and I'm not going to say much more than that because it's such a good book that I want you to read it for yourself. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, happy reading!